Brian was eight years old. He was rather a lonely little boy. He hadn't any brothers or sisters, and he had always lived up in London. But one day, Daddy told him that they were going down to live in the country, where there would be a lovely garden full of flowers for him to play in, and all kinds of animals for him to play with. Brian was so pleased that he could hardly wait until the time came to go. He simply loved the country, and Daddy told him that if he always kept his eyes and his ears well open, he would learn all kinds of interesting things. And he did. He had to do his lessons in the mornings, but in the afternoons he could ramble as much as he liked, so long as he didn't go too far away. And he thought perhaps you'd like to hear about one of the wonderful things he found out. One day, when he was walking along a very twisty, twirly, shady lane near his new home, he saw a lovely red, mossy ball growing on a rose bush. He had never seen one before, and he wondered what it could be. So he clambered up the hedge to look at it more closely. Then he saw a dear little robin redbreast sitting on a twig nearby. Oh, Mr. Robin, said Brian. I wish you could tell me what that pretty red ball is. To his delight, the robin answered him, cocking his little head on one side and looking at Brian out of his bright, beady little brown eyes. So I can, so I can, chirped he. It's called a robin's pincushion, though why that should be, I'm sure I don't know, for there isn't a single pin in it, and even if there was, I shouldn't want them. I never use pins. But I can tell you what it really is and how it came there. In the spring, a tiny wasp laid its egg in that rosebud, so that when the little bird grew, it grew this mossy ball instead of leaves. And the little wasp babies inside are snug and warm and drink the juice of the plant for their food. Oh, said Brian. So it's really a little house. And are there babies inside now? Yes, chirped Robin. They stay in their little mossy home until they are grown up and ready to go out into the great world. The end.